I think one of the, the biggest things that people need to understand, and I think they need to set out at the beginning of the attorney-client relationship, is how much communication do you need with your attorney? I, I can, I, and I want you to elaborate on this, but I know from my practice that I have some clients who don't care. They say, Carmen, handle it and check in with me once a month and let me know if everything's okay. And if I don't hear from you, I, I know everything's okay. But when you do let me know, I know things are important. So I got some who are very off, say, you know, don't, I won't worry about it unless you call me. I got other clients who want to know about things as they happen. And I have other clients who want a daily briefing and, you know, that's way too much. I don't want to, uh, it, it depends on if you're a hands-on client or a hands-off client. And I just want you to do me a favor, talk about what kind of communication they should, uh, a client should expect or a client should need or a client should want. Right. Well, obviously, like you said, that's an individual situation and, de and depending on the facts of your case and your situation, but that's one of the main things you'll want to talk to your attorney about. Um, what's important to you? What are you looking for? And what can your attorney do in response for that? Um, in the technology that we have now available with email communications are, you know, a good way. Find out from your attorney, will they only talk to you via email or will it be personal letters? Will you get phone calls every day, every month, every week? What do you want? And then make sure that that's compatible with what the attorney can do for Correct. you. Um, and again, I think, I'm sorry to interrupt you, but I think a part of that is cost. Right. Let's talk about that for a minute. Right. Yes. Are they going to charge for every single right. phone call, every single uh, letter, any any sort of communication that's right. important to find out with your attorney, sure. again, meeting your needs and what you want in this particular case. Yes. I mean, it's, it comes down to a point of, a, you know, from my perspective, in our, in our things, we have clients who go on an hourly basis and we have clients who go on a monthly basis mm -hmm. saying, I'll pay a flat fee every month and keep me updated, tell me what's going on. But there may be times where they don't hear from me for a month. Right. And, and that's you, okay. And you want to make sure <laughs> you, you, you want to make sure you understand that from, right. with your attorney that if you don't hear from them, it doesn't. It's, it's not probably bad news. We haven't forgotten about you. <laughs> right. Trust me, we haven't forgotten about you. We have a tickler system, and your case comes up. But if there's nothing going on, I don't like to waste people's time right. calling them up and saying, "Hey, guess what? Nothing's going on." Correct. Now, now, if I have a client who says, "Carmen, I want that," then of course I'm going to do it for you. I have no problem with that. But again, I'm the type of person that says, if you don't need me, I'm, I'm okay. But when you do mm -hmm. need me, I'm right there for you. So I'm the kind of hands-off client. I wouldn't be the guy who's saying, you know, contact me every 10, 12 days. Right, and set those boundaries early, immediately right. when yeah. you meet. Because if you want to get every single paper that comes through the court system, you won't get it anymore. When, you shouldn't receive anything from the court once you have an attorney. Right. So if you want a copy of every single document, make sure that, that that's established with your attorney and you'll get copies. I've got some clients who don't just want to be contacted by email. Say, so just send me an email, right. let me know. Send me copies of everything, but send it by email. That's all I want. Yeah. And I have no problem and with that. And some people still don't do email. They, yeah. they like the phone call. They like, they the, like the, call. The, the personal contact of that. And I think it's great. I mean, I, that's why it's very important, again, to establish that mm -hmm. report at the beginning.